Good evening. This is Walter Zagarevich coming to you with a very special moment, asking you to join me in prayer. You may be in need. You may be going through struggles right now, but I want to stop and pray for you right now. If you are sick, if you have a sick one in your home, lay your hand upon yourself. Lay your hand upon that sick child, that sick person in your home right now as together we pray, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray for the healing of those who are at the sound of my voice right now. They may be struggling with health issues. They may be, uh, maybe their body is ravaged with cancer, but we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ and we command for a reversal of that sickness. We command that spirit of infirmity Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command those cancerous cells to die and for good cells to generate in your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we know your word says that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we were healed. And we stand on that word. We proclaim that word. And we declare that God's word is true in your life, in your circumstances. If you have a financial need, let's pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break that spirit of poverty and we release the blessings of God in your life. Father, as people are faithful in their giving, I pray that you would release the blessings blessings that you have prepared for your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I lift up those uh, who are in need of salvation, who have an unsaved loved one in their family. I pray, oh God, that you would extend your hand, that you would touch that one, that loved one, that child, that sibling, that parent who does not know Christ as their Savior. Holy Spirit, minister them, draw them to Jesus, we pray. Or create circumstances in their life that would bring them to Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for the nation of Ukraine. We bind those demonic spirits that are trying to destroy the work of God, that are trying to destroy the move of God, and that has been destroying church buildings, but they cannot destroy the church because, Jesus, you said, I, you, will build your church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ. We come to you, O oh God, right now, lifting up those volunteers, lifting up those pastors, those uh, workers, those uh, who are dispatching you know, volunteers into uh, war zones in Ukraine. Protect them, guide them, lead them by your Holy Spirit. May their, t may their timing be perfect in their, uh, in their time on the road, in their time of unloading and loading. Father, I pray for people like Pastor Sergei, Pastor Vadim, Pastor uh, um, Igor, other pastors there, Father, use them, protect them, keep them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Father, we release the spirit of salvation, healing, deliverance, and blessing upon the nation of Ukraine. And Father, we arrest that spirit of war and uh, hatred. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we say no to the war and yes to peace right now in Ukraine and the region, in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me. Join me tomorrow morning, Friday, uh, June 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. East Coast time on our Spanish-English broadcast. We will have uh, missionary Dean Turner joining me tomorrow morning. It'll be bilingual, so if you speak Spanish or English, you can enjoy this broadcast. God richly bless you. Remember that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if you want to support our humanitarian relief efforts in the nation of Ukraine, go to our webpage right now, globalvisionministries.org, and that's globalvisionministries, plural, dot org, not dot com, dot org. Press donate, and you could designate Ukraine or you could designate another nation where we are working and those funds will go there. God richly bless you. Again, don't look at the bigness of your need, your problem, or that mountain, but rather put your eyes on Jesus. Christ is the answer. He has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God bless you.